Developing tonight, for the first time, we are seeing the moment a mine broke and contaminated the Animus River. And this video tonight is raising new questions about what happened, and you get to hear the audio the EPA was trying to bleep out. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart is here. Mark, the new concerns coming now from Capitol Hill. And, and tonight, we are showing you the very video watched today by lawmakers showing some of the 3 million gallons of sludge that was released into the river. We showed it to an expert who says once it started, it couldn't be stopped. What are we doing now? This video shows the three million gallon mishap. Toxic waste from the Gold King mine accidentally released into the Animus River at the hands of the EPA. If it flows at that rate for a long time. Ron Cohen is a professor at the Colorado School of Mines. You're looking at a large volume of water moving very fast. He says a quick stop gap wasn't possible. By the time you had something substantial that would hold that water, the event probably would be over. The video got a lot of attention at a hearing in Washington. <laughs> it's that bleep that made lawmakers mad. Why did the EPA edit out the audio of the team on the ground saying, what do we do now? You got any idea? I, I, I do not, you know, and, I, and EPA provided uh, it's, it's, it's so Okay, that's good enough. Adding to the tension, the head of the EPA, Gina McCarthy, didn't show up. A deputy took her place. Perhaps she doesn't have any good answers. Politics aside, this disaster represents the bigger problem of accidents waiting to happen in the Rockies. We've got thousands of mines in Colorado, many abandoned, many properly closed, with all sorts of issues. And at some point, we've got to address them. At today's hearing, an EPA administrator acknowledged there wasn't a plan for dealing with a worst-case scenario such as this. And policies are now under review. The administrator did acknowledge some mistakes were made. All right. Thank you, Mark. And today, we also learned the water test La Plata County has done on the Animus River came up with the same results as the EPA's test, showing low levels of dangerous metals and regaining some trust from some locals for the EPA.